ideas for videos, you want to throw them my way because your girl just has no motivation to film anything and I just don't know what to do. So if there's any videos you guys want to see, let me know and I'll do that for you. Okay, bye. Yee! Hey guys, it's Jay and today I am here with my Friday reads for June 17th, 18th, and 19th. I'm going to be reading three books hopefully this weekend. I don't know if it's going to happen. I usually read two or three, so we'll see how it goes. It's not like I have anything to do this weekend because I'm a loner and have no friends, so it should be fine. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book, I'm actually almost done it. I have like 74 more pages or something to go of it. The book is These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner and I'm pretty much done it already. So far I'm really enjoying it. The book follows Lilac LaRue who is the most famous, beautiful, richest girl in the universe. Her dad owns LaRue Industries and he built a spaceship called the Icarus. I think that's how you say it. Who knows? And then she meets a major in the military named Tarver. He thinks she's beautiful and he wants to get to know her, but he doesn't actually know who she is, so she doesn't know that she's the richest girl in the universe. So he is clearly wanting to get to know her because he thinks she's a very nice person to look at. And in her mind, he just wants her status and her money and blah blah blah, so she's very rude to him and he kind of is like obviously put off by it because you know be nice ladies be nice to cute boys who are majors because i would so basically they end up hating each other and then the icarus crashes and they are stuck on this planet together and they hate each other so you know they fight a lot and there's a lot of drama and then things happen and circumstances change and they realize that they may not be rescued like lilac thought and it's basically the story of their survival. And I'm almost done it. I'm enjoying it a lot. There's a lot of plot twists that I totally didn't see coming. And yeah. That's probably a terrible synopsis of this book. But I'll talk about it more in my wrap up and I'll actually give it, you know, good synopsis that isn't terrible. Probably, I think, going to give it a 3 out of 5 stars. Maybe a 3.5, depending on how it ends. Because I want it to end a certain way. But I doubt it's going to end that way. But we shall see. The second book that I'm hoping to read is Dark Companion by Marta Acosta. I've had this on my shelf for like over two years now and I don't even know why I bought it. Probably because I thought the cover was cool because anytime there's a girl walking away on a cover, I buy the book. It might be the worst book in the entire world and the synopsis may suck. I will still buy it because I have problems. Major problems. This book follows Jane Williams who is orphaned at the age of eight. She ends up getting this scholarship for this big school when she's older. But for the first time, Jane finds herself being accepted into a group of friends and she's very happy. She starts tutoring the headmistress's son, Lucian. I think that's how you say it. Lu yeah, I'm gonna go with Lucian. It's probably wrong, but whatever. And she thinks that things are finally too good to be true and then she discovers that they are. They are too good to be true. So the more that Jane learns about this school, she discovers that things aren't quite as they seem. She doesn't understand why the wife of a popular teacher killed herself. She doesn't understand what happened to the scholarship student that she replaced. And so she sets off to find out what's actually going on. I'm assuming there's going to be some paranormal aspect to it, but we shall see once I actually read it, because I don't know. And then the last book, which I'm not 100% sure if I want to read it yet because I feel like I'm going to have to be in the mood for it, but it is The Scorpio Races by Maggie Stevart. I don't really know that much about it other than there's this horse race at the beginning of every November and basically they have to get across this river or something and only one person usually survives it. And so the person who won it the year before is coming back as the champion. This girl named Puck is the first girl to ever join the races. And she doesn't actually want to do it, so I'm assuming something in her life is going wrong and there's like a prize or something. I don't know that much about it, like I said. I've heard that it's a really good book and, I mean, I've had it forever, so... Why not get to it now? We'll see if I actually do. Alright guys, so that was the three books that I'm planning to read this weekend. I don't know if it's actually going to happen. I've been in like a slump this whole month where I don't want to do anything with my life but lie in bed. But like I don't want to read in bed. It's, it's a struggle. We're in a little slumpy slump right now. But we'll see if I can get out of it this weekend. 
So I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye. She's beautiful, blah, blah, blah. You know, she's your typical rich girl. She thinks he's like super cute too, but she's like, I can't be with you. So she acts really mean to him. The wife of a popular teacher killed himself, herself. It's a girl. It's a wife. That's a girl.